pesto with some good <laughs>, laughs, and there's plenty ahead. Okay, I just a little preview of what you're about to see. Kevin tried to quiz me and stump me on the hottest oh day gosh. ever in Illinois, and I got it right. Oh, wow. I know. <laughs> and, and Grace got to check out a camel. I did. I met Jack the camel. I really liked him, actually. I think he's well, a good guy, so and you can check it out if you missed it. We hope you <laughs> like our look back here, and we'll see yes. you tomorrow. Shopping round every time you look away, and you don't see your own. <laughs> Marley and Ryan, seven and eight years old, there, and I was like, Give me some weather questions. And so these are coming from them. Okay. And so, uh, what is the hottest day? So, what do you think? The, like, the hottest are we day? talking about oh, no, Monday or no, Tuesday? No, 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 no. <laughs> like the hottest temperature ever recorded in Champaign. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna say 109. Who told her that? Are you lying? Who told her that? You were so ready to make me look silly, and then I just answered a question correctly, and I didn't I even cheat? It. Who in here actually believes that she knew that and nobody told her? <laughs> now pull your knee in towards your chest. Oh, that feels good now. Oh, great. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice flex, but push away. So I like to pretend um, that I'm pushing someone off the couch. Oh, <laughs> night train. She's not talking about you. Not at all. No. <laughs> Something like yeah, that. Yeah, and it looked real because it was real. It's just the person driving having to be on top of the car. Right. Yeah. But then there's timing, uh, timing issues to work out, of course, because you have to mm -hmm. get Mia's hands in sync with the person yeah. she can't see. Because I'd be like, her. I'm oh. turning. <laughs> yeah, and, and then so the car's not actually the turning. The car's not turning, so it's like over a walkie, you'll be like, three, two, one, swerve, so that mm -hmm. way. Both people hear it in the in their yeah. ear, and that's. And I think it was really great because all the, all the cars that are like around us that we interact with were actually being driven and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I could like react to seeing oh the van's behind us that's like getting closer honking or whatever, and like I could react to those things. Yeah, I usually spend a lot of time riding and uh, of course shopping. Well, of course, <laughs> oh my word, a girl after my own heart. Okay, let's talk boy trouble. All right. Do we need to drop a name? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. We won't do that on TV here. Not on TV. No. So who is Jabari? Jabari is a little boy. This book is called Jabari Jumps. It is an absolutely fantastic picture book for kids. Uh, Jabari wants to jump off the diving board. People are telling him he should jump off the diving board. And of course, he has every excuse to not, like he gets up there and he's like, wait, 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 I didn't get my stretches in. Or wait, 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 wait I can't do it. <laughs> it's about building up courage to jump off the diving board. You know, that reminds me of a story, Devin. So when I was little at the Rant Tool Pool, they used to have a low diving board and a very high diving board. And I went to go get in line for the high diving board and I was gung-ho ready to go and my mom said are you sure you want to do that then I was scared I'm like oh maybe I should have had some Jabari confidence so mm -hmm. I didn't end up jumping I should have though And today on CI Living, we are getting up close and personal with the animals at Scoville Zoo. Just wait until you see what food item the cannibal, cannibal.